Okay, so this is the egret project. So what you're gonna need to do is get into the Nux folder, the public one, and get in the Photoshop. You're gonna have to grab the egret, which is less than six extra. You might as well just don't even follow these directions because they're super old. So you're just going to drag the whole folder though into your NUC. So hopefully you've already done that. I've done that already. So I'm going to go into the project. And if you notice, I've already thrown the instructions out. Go ahead and double click on 06 start extra. And here's the egret. So the first thing we need to do is actually select the egret. So what I'm going to suggest that you use is the quick selection tool, which is right here. Okay. And um, just go ahead and highlight the egret. Oh, that's way too much. Let's see. Let's try that again. I'm going to control control D to deselect and just try to get there. That's good enough. And then um, what you want to do is get into quick mass mode. You might want to zoom in and then just spend a moment to fix this. So because we're painting, um, we're actually trying to select the egret and not what's around. That's why it's red. Whatever's red is not going to be selected if that's right and whatever is not red is going to be selected so I need to use the eraser tool and then I'm going to have to use the paintbrush um, or actually just the eraser tool and well paintbrush down here so let me go ahead and use the eraser tool right now and just go ahead and fix this part up here he's got like a fish or something in his his beak doesn't have to be perfect because we're not going to um, like drag him anywhere. We're just gonna um, actually enhance him. That's why we're doing this. So I'm gonna use the paintbrush to get this. The brush is too big. I'm gonna use my bracket uh, keys on the keyboard next to the backslash to increase and decrease my brush. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and go down here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And there's some more down here. Like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, all this around here looks good, looks good, it's good enough. Now I wanna go ahead and use the eraser tool to um, take off all this right here. Uh, I may end up using the brush again to fix outside of it. I don't know, when I select something, I actually like it to be tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the eraser tool. I mean, the um, yeah, the eraser tool. Or sorry, the brush. My bad. Kind of confusing when you're using both of them. And go ahead, and that's pretty good right there. So now I'm gonna get out of quick mass mode and my eager to selected. So the next thing you want to do is most definitely you want to save your selection. Saving selection allows you to uh, a couple things. It makes a new channel and then also it allows you to select something later on when you when you quit out and you want to come back so you don't have to reselect it again. So I'm going to call it egret, the selection, and press OK. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes so far. And he looks good. So I want to enhance him. So I'm going to go ahead to enhance him. Now that he's selected, I'm going to go ahead and go to adjustments. And I'm just going to do levels on him. And the idea with levels, anytime you do levels, is that, um, sorry, let me snooze a couple things here. Um, I just had a, an alarm go off. Uh, what you want to do on levels is you always want to go over the mountain range. So the mountain range is from here to here and then over here. So I want to move this over so we're covered here, but I also want to move this over like that. So now my arrows, my two outside arrows on my levels is mostly over the mountain range. Now you can adjust the middle one if you want, but it does a pretty good job when you do that. And that's all you got to do with levels. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And um, that looks great. So my eager, it's good. And now we're going to bring in some other um, things that we're going to select. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect him because I don't need it to be select. What's nice though is once again I have this egret channel here. 
And what that's going to allow me to do is if I want to load selection, I could do it this way, or I can drag the egret channel, I'm in the channels right now, and drag it on top of this round dashed circle, and that selects it too. But I'm going to go ahead and go to select and deselect. All right. All right. So the next thing I want to do, I'll save that, is open the foxtail. Okay. And that's in the folder. And what you want to do is select the foxtail. All right. And as you select it, um, you just want to make sure, oops, <laughs> you don't want to paint it. Sorry about that. You want to get in quick mass mode. There we go. All right. So you want to select it by going over it. You want to get the ends of the fineness of the foxtail like so and then of course the center and so forth okay when you get down to here you're going to reduce your your brush size and you're going to go and because you want to get the stem and hold on a second and then i'm going to go down the stem like this oops Right, gosh, I'm doing a sloppy job here, but I'll go. I'll go back with my eraser tool. Gosh, I don't know. I'm just not very steady today. Mm, looks good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back with my eraser tool, and I'm gonna make this big, so that way I can just click with it. Okay. Um, here, let me make this a little bit smaller so I can. You know, just sometimes I do a really good job at this, and there's sometimes I don't. I've done this project so much this year. I should have made this video before we did the project. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so I have my foxtail selected. Let me go back to layers here. Let's make sure I'm RGB here first. Okay, so I have it selected. Um, I'm going to get out of Quick Mask. And notice uh, everything is selected real quick. Let me go back this part right here. Let's go ahead and paint this part right here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So um, what happens is everything else is selected except for the foxtail. So I need to inverse the selection. So I'm going to go to Select Inverse. And there we go, that's good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna mask this, I'm gonna add a mask to this and what it's gonna do is it'll cut it out, okay? And notice it's pretty sloppy. So what we wanna do is we wanna, um, yeah, gosh, I, I just wish I did a better job on this, but we'll just, hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, yeah, I usually take a little bit longer, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and at, since we masked this, I'm going to go to Properties. So I'm going to go to Window, Properties, and I'm going to click Select and Mask because that's going to help us to select the, the fine parts of the foxtail. And then I'm going to use this tool right here, the Refine Edge Brush. So I'm just going to go start from the top and go down. Oh, and before I do this, I'm going to make sure I'm on black and go 100% so that way I can see what's going on here. Okay, so I'm just going to barely do this. The object is to try to get rid of the background. See, it takes out some of the... And if it takes out too much, you can bring it back. Like, let's say this part right here, you can bring it back with the brush below it. It'll bring it back, and then if you want to try to do it again, you can do it again. I don't know, that's just the way that part is, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess I can get rid of some of the background that way. Well, see, then it does that, though. See, so that's the only problem. Um, all right, we'll just keep it at that. All right, so then I'm going to just go ahead, and you can, if you want, you can play with some of the stuff here. Uh, you can try smooth. You know, you can feather it, maybe. A little bit. Shift edge. This, this does a lot, actually. You bring it back. See, I just don't like this part right here. What if I can get rid of that? No, see, it just brings it. Hmm. Let's see if I use this. What happens? No, gosh, I don't want to do that. All right, we'll just leave it the way it is. 
and then I'm going to press OK. All right, so um, there's my sloppy thing, but it may look good in, in the in my project here. So now that I have two things up, I need to drag this on to my six extra projects. So I'm going to go to range and two up vertical and then use my move tool and just drag this on the egret. And then there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, not save my changes because this did such a terrible job. I'll go ahead and just make this one. And then I'm going to hit control T because I want to size this free transform. The, the foxtail is pretty big. Actually, um, let me zoom out real quick before I do this. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control T or not. Why is it not working? Um, I think that's it. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to reduce the size of my foxtail. See what I had to do is I had to actually click on the layer. And gosh, I, did, I didn't do a very good job on this. Did much better, but because I've done this probably three times this year, I'm kind of burned out on doing this. All right, so that's okay. It could be better, like this part right here. Could probably just erase it. Let's see. Use the erase tool. Yeah, see that? You could actually probably do that around here, but I, I'm not going to take the time to do that. All right, so that's pretty good. Now we're going to bring in the weeds. So we're going to do kind of the same thing with the weeds. I'll save my changes. Um, press OK. OK, I'm going to go up to File, Open, Find the Weeds. OK, this is actually an old, I think it's Photoshop, uh, what is it, Photoshop, um, I think it's lower than CS5 project. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my brush. I'm going to go to quick mass mode. And then I'm going to increase my size of my brush because I want to just get a lot of this right from the start. You want to make sure that the colors are default. Make sure your brush is 100% and the hardness. And then so that way um, I'm going to get all this stuff down here for sure. We won't use all of it. And then when you get to the top here, what you want to do is decrease the size of your brush. Oops. And then you just want to try to get as much of this as you can, the tops of the weeds, without getting too much of the background. So like this. So you want to spend a little bit of time doing this. Go up. Go up here. This project, um, it's funny, when you read the directions, uh, the directions are totally different because Photoshop was so different back then. There's things that they took out or they consolidated them somewhere else. And so I've kind of had to figure out, based on the new tools, how to redo this project, which is kind of a bummer. So that's why I'm making this video, so that way if I'm not there, you can just follow along with the video instead of reading the directions, which I'd rather have you do. Um, it'd be nice if you had directions and the video, but the videos uh, or the book is so old that I have the PDF of it. So I'm going to go ahead and almost there. Almost got it. The section right here, 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 and here. Okay, there we go. There's like little sections right there. You might want to add this. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, get out of quick mass mode. And notice that everything but the wheat is selected, and we want the wheat to be selected. So I'm just going to go to select inverse, inverse the selection. And then I'm going to go ahead and press this button down here again to put a mask on it. And there's our mask. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to Properties, just like we did with the foxtail. I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to click on Select and Mask. 
and hopefully this is going to work. It doesn't always work, but I, now I always like to start down and uh, start up and go down. So yeah, so it looks like that. So it kind of takes it out, and it's taking out the background. It's not going to be perfect in some areas. Just to let you know, you can try all you want, but it may not be perfect. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but see, like up here, it's still leaving some of the stuff there. It's like hit or miss for me on this, if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead. I want to get all this, try to get all this red out, but see, it adds stuff like that. That's what's kind of a bummer. We might be able to try to get it out. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to come out right there. Um, you might try to erase it or something. See, it looks nice. It looks good. Good. You can also get down here. Let's see. And we almost have it. That's pretty good. See that? So you've cut in basically the the back out, uh, the background out of this using um, this the, the tools available here. Um, so it looks good. We're gonna press OK. You can try to you know mess with the settings stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna press OK. And then once again, I'm gonna go to Window, um, Arrange two up vertical, and then I'm just gonna drag this onto my egret. Okay, and look how it's giant size now. I'm gonna close this and not save my changes. No, no that's not necessary. I do want to reduce this. So I'm gonna go to uh, edit free transform and reduce the size of this. See, I'm meaning to zoom out first, hold on. Okay, so now let's go to edit free transform or control T, that's the easier way to do it, but I'll just, show you where it is in the menu. See some of the little block areas right there, it comes out, but you can move this down like this. And the whole idea of this project, I think is it, you're supposed to be in the, in the bushes, stalking this eager I guess, and taking pictures of them. So that's okay. I mean, like I said, the foxtail, it doesn't look that great, but we'll just put it up here like that. And then we got our bushes behind there. So the only thing left on this project is to kind of make it artistic and you could merge all this and then make it artistic, uh, everything. Um, what we decided to do this year is to keep these two layers separate and just make the background artistic. So I'm going to go ahead and select the background. I'm going to go to channels here. And this is my egret selection that we saved. And I'm going to drag this on top of those dots because then that's a quick way to select my egret. I'm going to go back to layers and be careful that you don't select the egret channel that you have RGB selected and don't even put the eyeball on there because that that changes things. All right, so then it's selected, but what happens is I don't want to make the egret artistic. I want to make what's around the, the egret, the background part of it, all this stuff. So I'm going to go to select inverse and then I'm going to go to filter, filter gallery, and I'm going to go to colored pencil and then see, see there it is right there. So everything but the egret has a, a color pencil on it. Um, you can try some of the other things. There's all kinds of different artistic things you can put on there. But I'm just going to go with color pencil. It looks the nice. You can maybe adjust some of this if you want to try it. And then press OK. And then double click on the hand tool. Let's deselect this. And there we go. We have our egret that is standing out and then we have the background we have our weeds back there we have our our foxtail and the whole project is complete now so what you would do is you'd save it and then you go ahead and file save as and you would go ahead and save it as a jpeg and this is what you want to upload to my classroom is the jpeg i'm not going to do that right now and that is the completed project